In a quiet neighborhood, nestled among trees and flowers, lived a woman named Eleanor. She was in her late thirties, leading a busy life, caught between the responsibilities of her job and caring for her family. Though Eleanor was surrounded by people, there was an undeniable emptiness in her heart, a longing for something deeper, a connection she couldn't quite put into words. One chilly autumn morning, as Eleanor returned home from a long week at work, she noticed a small, ragged cat on her doorstep. The cat, with its pale green eyes and sleek fur matted from the rain, stared up at her, unafraid. Normally, Eleanor wasn't one to take in strays, but something about this cat felt different. She bent down to pet it, and as her hand touched its wet fur, she felt a warmth spread through her chest, as if a missing puzzle piece had just clicked into place. Without much thought, Eleanor welcomed the cat into her home. She named him Shadow, not because he was dark in color, but because of the way he silently followed her, always at her side, moving through the house with an almost mystical grace. As the weeks passed, Eleanor noticed something odd about Shadow. He seemed to know when she was anxious or tired. On days when her heart was heavy, he would quietly sit beside her, his presence a gentle reminder that she was not alone. His soft purring soothed her, like a lullaby for the soul. Whenever she was deep in thought, struggling with an unresolved emotion or decision, Shadow would nudge her, almost as if he were trying to say, I'm here for you. It wasn't long before Eleanor realized that Shadow wasn't just a pet, he was more. There was a peacefulness about him, a knowing that went beyond the realm of ordinary companionship. He would sit by the window and stare at nothing in particular for hours, but Eleanor swore that he was seeing things she couldn't, perhaps old spirits or energies that filled the home. His eyes seemed to track invisible movements, his ears twitching as if he were listening to conversations unheard by human ears. One night, Eleanor had a particularly stressful day. Her mind raced with worries about her future, her relationships, her sense of purpose. She tossed and turned in bed, unable to calm the storm within her. That's when she felt Shadow hop onto the bed. He padded gently across the blankets and curled up by her chest, pressing his warm body against her heart. As she lay there, feeling his rhythmic breathing, a memory came to her. It was something her grandmother had once told her when she was a little girl. Cats are special, her grandmother had said. They are spiritual beings. They watch over us, not just in the physical world, but in the spiritual one too. They sense things we can and protect us from energies that aren't good for us. Eleanor hadn't thought about that in years. But in that moment, she understood. Shadow wasn't just a cat. He was a guardian. His presence in her life was no coincidence. He had come to her when she needed him most, when her soul was yearning for peace, for connection, for a sense of purpose beyond the daily grind. The next morning, Eleanor woke up with a lightness she hadn't felt in years. Shadow was already sitting by the window, his eyes scanning the world outside. She approached him and scratched behind his ears, whispering a quiet thank you. She realized that Shadow had given her something invaluable, a reminder of the spiritual world, of the unseen forces that shape our lives, and the comfort that comes from knowing we are never truly alone. In the months that followed, Eleanor found herself growing more aware of the energies around her. She began meditating, creating quiet moments of stillness in her life. And every time she sat in her little corner, breathing deeply, Shadow would come and sit beside her, purring softly as if to guide her deeper into the peace she was seeking. For those who visited Eleanor, Shadow was simply a cat. But for her, he was a spiritual companion, a guardian who had come into her life to protect her to offer her the wisdom of stillness, and to remind her that sometimes, the greatest guides in life come in the form of a humble, purring friend. In a world that often feels overwhelming, Eleanor found solace in Shadow's quiet presence. He didn't need to speak to offer his wisdom. All he needed to do was be there, a silent sentinel watching over her home, her heart, and her spirit. 